Hello, it's Miss Evanigan from Los Alamitos Rossmore Library here for another fun story time. Before we read our story, we're going to start with one of my favorite activities to kind of wake up the body called I Wake Up My Hands. So this is always a really fun one. We're going to do three mo movements and then remember you can always add more movements on your own from home later on. So to start, we're going to be doing some hand clapping and we're going to be doing some belly beeping just like this and then some head nodding. All right, I think we're ready. Let's get started. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 clap. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my belly with the beep, 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 beep. I wake up my belly with the beep, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my head with the nod, 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 nod. I wake up my head with the nod, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. All right, good job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause for waking up your body, ready to start the day. So today, with permission from Little Simon, which is part of Simon & Schuster, I'm going to be reading Hide and Sheep, which is written by Jennifer Sattler and illustrated by Benson Schum. And this is a really fun one because Sheep is going to be playing hide and seek with us. All right, so it's up to us to find Sheep hiding with all the animals. Do you think you're up for it? Perfect, let's go. So hey, are you ready to play hide and sheep? You count to 10 and I'll hide, but don't peek. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover our eyes and not peek and count to 10 so sheep can hide, okay? So let's cover our eyes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Now let's go find sheep. So one sheep is right here, but not for long because it looks like sheep runs away. And now we have what kind of an animal? That's right, cows and cows make what noise? That's right, they moo a lot. So two cows are grazing and singing a mootiful song. So which one of these doesn't exactly look like a cow? That's right, it's this one right here. It's sheep with black spots on it. Now we have three little piggies are kicking up their heels. Now which piggy is sheep? That's right, it's this one right here. The nice furry one, fuzzy one. So now we have four ducks are on a tractor with four round wheels. So again, which one is sheep? That's right, right up here on top of the tractor. We're using a lot of good investigative skills, which is part of our summer reading theme this year. So now we have Five bunnies hop along, but don't mind the big one. So which one is the big one? Is it this one up here? No, no, it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. That one looks a little big. But no, you're right. It's not that one either. It is this one right here in the center. So now we have six horses but one's pretty rolly, bask in the sun. So which horse looks a little wooly and not like the others? That's right, it's this one right down here. So now we have seven roosters roost, though one has no feathers. So let's investigate which one doesn't have feathers. That's right, this one right here. Can you see what sheep has on top of his head? 
that's right, it's a red comb to try to disguise himself better. So now eight fish are in a pond, all swimming together. So which fish doesn't look like the others? That's right, you're getting really good at this. It's this one at the very end with big red goggles on. So now we have nine goats roam the field, eating all they can find. So which one is sheep? That's right, it's this one right down here. And what's sheep eating? Good job, it's a red sock. So 10 mice scurry fast, but hey, they're leaving a big one behind. And I think that big one might be sheep. What do you think? I think so too. So here I am, you finally found me. And you know what? Now it's your turn to hide. So sheep is gonna count to three and then after this video, you can go hide and play hide and seek with your family. All right? So one, two, and three. So start thinking of a hiding spot so you can play hide and seek or hide and sheep with your family. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. We're going to do our calm down activity now, and then we'll say bye until next time. So we're going to tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. You're going to turn around and tickle your elbows. You're going to reach down low and reach up high. And story time's over, so let's wave goodbye. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. There's still a little bit of time left. If you'd like to sign up for our summer reading program online, please do. And make sure you keep checking out all of our social media platforms and ocpl.org for more fun resources. Thank you. Goodbye.